Hey guys! So, sorry it's been a while since the last time I uploaded. I have, uh, just been crazy busy. Well, sort of busy, but it's a long story. I'm not gonna, I'm not getting into it. But, um, so, uh, this has been a long time, this video has been a slightly long time in the making, uh, because I, whilst I have shown you my anime collection, which is now over there, uh, I have now started a new collection, which, honestly, if you could see, like, how, what it looks like from here, you'd know just how now massive the collection is. So, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but, uh, i particularly fond of ocean liners and, uh, ships in general, because I'm pretty sure the first video I did when we moved, when we first moved here, uh, was show off, gave a room tour, and you saw my, um, ship collection. Well, I still have those. I'm not going to show them again, since you already saw them once. The other ones are over there. Two of them of which are over there. But today, I decided to show off the rest of my collection that I now have, because I'm... And that's one of the reasons I haven't uploaded, because I needed to wait for all of them. Alright, so... Let's start chronologically in order. Alright, the first ship I'm going to show you... We all know the story of the RMS... Uh, of the RMS Titanic, and when her ship... When her path... When her passengers uh, were in the on North Atlantic, they, need, they needed a particular ship to come and pick them up. That's right. The one, the only, RMS Carpathia. This ship I almost didn't get because, like, I was content with just getting, like, a few of them. But now that I've gotten all of them, I'm like, I had to get this ship because you can't have the time. You can't have a certain other ship that I'll show you in a minute without her rescue ship. Now, the funny thing about the Carpathia, she did pick up the Titanic's passengers, but during World War I, she ended up sinking as well. Uh, which is, I find, which I find ironic. You know, becoming the hero ship to one ship, to one ship disaster, and then sinking herself. Kind of ironic. If that's all, but that's all I'll say on that. Okay, next. Ah, funny enough, another Cunarder, which is partial the reason why the Titanic was built in the in the first place. Now a little bit of history. The Cunard Line was was the White Star Line's rival competition, and they basically had already put out the Mauritania and the and the Lusitania. The Lusitania was the reason why the Titanic class were built in the first place. They're also the reason why they have four funnels. Now, on Lusitania, the fourth funnel was a real funnel. On the Titanic, we all know, was a dummy funnel. And honestly, this was actually the first ship I model I ordered. And I'm still immensely proud of it. Because look how great it looks just from the profile. Yeah. And all of these are actually bigger than you'd think they'd be. Like for a one foot replica, they're pretty massive. All right, next, uh, yet another Cunard, yet, yet another Cunarder. I'm gonna go ahead and get all three of the, those ships out of the way first. We, the one, the legendary, not haunted, I don't care what anyone says, she's not haunted. All those videos are faked. I don't care. The RMS Queen Mary. Yes, a lot of people have died on her, but she's not haunted. I don't care what anyone says. Anyways, the Queen Mary, the ship, one of the ships that still survives today, even though she. She's currently in limbo due to the first people who own her's uh, bankruptcy. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to even address that, but it's sad. Anyways, next, I'm just going to put that back where that goes. All right, next up, we have, moving on from Cunard to White Star. First up, 
the Titanic and Olympic uh, were too big to go into the more shallower harbors, such as Southampton and Cherbourg. So they needed a they needed a tender ship. One such tender ship still survives today, and she she's also the SS Nomadic. I'm actually kind of glad that I ended up getting the Nomadic because honestly, I don't think I it would feel right to have the Olympic class and not have their actual little si their little sister because the Nomadic was actually built for the Olympic and Titanic in mind, which had the war not broken out and Britannic would have would have become the RMS Britannic that she was intended to be, she probably would have also been uh, serviced by the nomadic, more than likely. And like the Queen Mary, she still survives today. Of course, her operating hours are kind of, are, she's not operational at the moment because, you know, pandemic, but hey. Anyways, next up, the eldest sister of the Olympic class the forebear of the name and the only of the three ships to survive a career of more than 30 years. Old Reliable, the RMS Olympic. Now, before I got this model, I, you, I almost thought that the Olympic and the Titanic were virtually identical, which they were, but now that I, but Olympic was slightly smaller of the two. And now it wasn't until I got all three sisters together that I realized just how vastly different all three of them were in size. And unfortunately, all three of them never got to meet historically because Titanic sunk during her main voyage. The, the, but anyways, before, but just to bring an example, the next one, here's the, here's the Titanic, which, let me just put them side by side. Yeah, that, hang on, let me just make it even. You can tell just how vastly different in size the two of them are. And these two are, are like, are, are sister ships built at the same time, built side by side and the dry dock. Like, Titanic is bigger than the Olympic by a foot. Oh, and next up, you can't have the RMS Titanic and the RMS Olympic without without the third sister. And I don't just have one Titanic. I, I have the, uh, the HMHS Britannic, which honestly is pretty good is pretty amazing looking in itself i also have what the what the britannic should have been had war not broken out that's right i have the rms the rms britannic and you can just tell how vastly different the design is from rms to hospital ship on just wow just wow I mean that's all I have to say really and uh, I'm not, and lastly the last ship of this scale the last ship of this oh and uh hang on let me just give me a second let me put these back there we go go and you can't have the the Britannic and Titanic without the things that sunk them so included in the pack I got these with her iceberg the Titanic's iceberg and the three the three sea mines which sunk one of which had, was directly responsible for the sinking of the Britannic. And now, moving on from ocean liners that sunk to a 
Frick to an ore carrier that sunk off the Great Lakes. Yes, you know where I'm going with this. The legend lives on down to Chippewa, on down to for the big lake they call Michigumi. The Edmund Fitzgerald, the sink, which was an ore carrier that sunk off the Great Lakes. And thanks to Gorg Lightfoot, she's remembered due to his song. And well, I know historically she wasn't a, she wasn't as big as the Titanic. But, like, I underestimated just how big the ship actually was, just based on this model. I mean, I'm trying, like, I'm, like, that's, you can tell just how big it is just by the, looking at the model itself. And, she went down with all 29 hands, and, uh, I, I actually, now that I, and she actually split in two, which is right, because her bow is right side up, but her stern section is sm is upside down, which means, leads a lot of people to speculate, she was going from trough to trough, and then hit a particularly shallow section, and hit the bottom of the lake, and then rode the trough, which broke her back, which broke her back, and what caused the breakup. I mean, that's what I speculate happened anyway. Because, again, the wreck is in two. The bow is right side up, the stern is upside down. But I guess we'll never really know what happened that night. Same thing for what happened on the RMS Titanic. There are so many missing pieces that, to that, to both stories that we'll never know what happened. Because with Edmund Fitzgerald, no one, none of the crew survived to tell exactly what happened. Considering it happened so quickly. Anyways, I think that's basically all I ha had for this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.